Welcome to Ask Prep, your trusted companion for NEET and JEE preparation. Today we will study about a very important topic of chemistry which is Green Chemistry, Eco-Friendly Reactions and Sustainable Chemistry Green chemistry is an innovative approach that focuses on designing chemical products and processes that reduce or eliminate the use of hazardous substances. It is a shift towards sustainability, ensuring that chemical advancements do not come at the cost of environmental degradation. This concept is becoming increasingly important as industries and scientists work towards solutions that minimize pollution and resource depletion while maintaining efficiency and productivity. The fundamental goal of green chemistry is to create eco-friendly reactions that produce minimal waste and consume fewer natural resources. Traditional chemical processes often generate byproducts that are harmful to both humans and the environment. These byproducts may include toxic gases, hazardous waste, or pollutants that accumulate over time and cause long-term damage. Green chemistry aims to replace such processes with sustainable alternatives that use safer solvents, renewable feedstocks, and energy-efficient methods. One of the significant aspects of green chemistry is the use of renewable raw materials. Instead of relying on fossil fuels or known renewable resources, green chemistry encourages the use of naturally occurring substances such as plant-based compounds and biodegradable materials. This not only reduces dependence on finite resources, but also decreases the carbon footprint associated with chemical production. Another essential principle of green chemistry is the design of safer chemicals. Many industrial chemicals are toxic and pose risks to human health and ecosystems. By modifying the molecular structure of these substances, scientists can develop alternatives that retain their desired functionality while being non-toxic and biodegradable. This reduces the risk of chemical exposure and pollution, making industrial and consumer products safer for use. Green chemistry also promotes the use of energy-efficient reactions. Many conventional chemical processes require high temperatures and pressures, consuming large amounts of energy derived from fossil fuels. By employing catalysts, microwaves, and biocatalysis, green chemistry enables reactions to proceed under milder conditions, reducing energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. This approach enhances sustainability while making chemical manufacturing more cost-effective. Another key aspect is atom economy, which refers to maximizing the incorporation of reactants into the final product. Conventional reactions often generate large amounts of waste, leading to additional disposal costs and environmental concerns. Green chemistry emphasizes designing reactions where most, if not all, of the reactants end up in the desired product, reducing waste generation. Catalysis also plays a crucial role in sustainable chemistry. Catalysts speed up chemical reactions without being consumed, making processes more efficient and reducing energy consumption. Many green chemistry innovations focus on using biodegradable or reusable catalysts instead of hazardous metal-based catalysts that contribute to pollution. Renewable feedstocks are another important part of green chemistry. Traditional chemical industries rely heavily on fossil fuels for raw materials, leading to carbon emissions and depletion of known renewable resources. Green chemistry seeks to replace these with plant-based feedstocks, which are renewable and biodegradable. For example, bio-based plastics and biofuels are sustainable alternatives to petroleum-based products. The elimination of hazardous solvents is another crucial component of green chemistry. Many industrial solvents used in chemical reactions are volatile organic compounds that contribute to air pollution and health hazards. Green chemistry focuses on using water-based or biodegradable solvents that do not harm the environment. In some cases, solvent-free reactions are developed to further reduce waste and pollution. Waste reduction is a core principle of green chemistry. Instead of generating large amounts of chemical waste that require costly disposal methods, green chemistry emphasizes atom economy, ensuring that the maximum amount of raw material is converted into the final product with minimal byproducts. This helps in reducing hazardous waste, lowering disposal costs, and conserving valuable resources. The application of green chemistry extends across multiple industries, including pharmaceuticals, agriculture, and manufacturing. 
In the pharmaceutical sector, green chemistry techniques help in producing drugs with fewer harmful side effects and reducing waste during drug synthesis. In agriculture, eco-friendly pesticides and fertilizers are developed to minimize soil and water pollution. In the manufacturing sector, sustainable materials and biodegradable packaging are used to reduce plastic waste and environmental contamination. Green chemistry also plays a crucial role in addressing global environmental challenges. Climate change, pollution, and resource depletion are critical issues that require sustainable solutions. By adopting green chemistry principles, industries can lower their carbon emissions, prevent toxic waste accumulation, and develop products that are safe for both humans and nature. This contributes to a cleaner, healthier planet and ensures a balance between industrial progress and environmental preservation. As individuals, we can also contribute to the principles of green chemistry by making sustainable choices in our daily lives. Using eco-friendly products, reducing plastic consumption, recycling waste, and supporting companies that follow green chemistry practices can collectively make a significant impact. The shift towards sustainable chemistry is not just the responsibility of industries and scientists but of society as a whole. Green chemistry is more than just an alternative approach to chemical production, it is a necessity for the future. As the world faces increasing environmental challenges, adopting sustainable and eco-friendly practices in chemistry will help preserve natural resources and protect ecosystems. By integrating green chemistry principles into industrial processes, education, and everyday life, we can pave the way for a more sustainable and responsible approach to science and technology. The future of chemistry lies in innovation that harmonizes with nature, ensuring a safer and greener world for generations to come. Thank you, we hope this video has helped you gain a clearer understanding of hydrogen and its compounds, especially the fascinating role of heavy water and isotopes. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Ask Prep for more in-depth chemistry lessons. Keep studying, stay curious, and good luck with your exams.